Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, how you guys doing? We're taking a look at what you don't see coming, okay? So this could be warnings, it could be blessings. I don't know what it's going to be, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Sophia. Very nice to meet you. I'm a very proud Leo. Around here, we put our paws up top. It just shows our solidarity because as lions, they be hating. You already know. So let's jump right in. Okay, guys, please take what resonates you already know the drill leave the stuff that doesn't if nothing resonates on this video i have tons and tons of other videos um feel free to swap the energy i may say you but it could be somebody else okay um the description box has where you can find me on other social media platforms and last but not least please don't forget guys give it a like keep me alive doing what i'm doing on on this youtube all right and uh don't forget to subscribe <laughs> come on back and see me because i might be stimming all right let's go let's go let's see what don't you see coming I think you're going to get a break here, okay? You have to take a breath. Um, for those of you who are dealing with something that has to do with, uh, like, allergies, maybe lungs, maybe your actual breath, I feel like something around that's going to be improving. But I do feel like there's there's a, a, like, a nice little vacation or a pause that's coming for you, okay, guys? We also have synchronicity. So something seems to be coming for you right now, Leo, that has been waiting on timing, okay? I strongly get the number three here. I don't know what the number means to you. Um, I get like triple moon energy. I don't know if you've been working on manifesting something, but it feels like the timing of things is going to start going in such a way that you are aligning with a lot of things that you have been wanting, needing, uh, working on, manifesting, praying for, that kind of stuff. Okay, my loves? I have a, I have a cat on my knee. <laughs> All right, let me get uh, another card or two here. Let's see. What doesn't Leo see coming? drum roll please all right to watch out there is more than meets the eye be careful with whom you deal your finances with this is the second time you guys got this fox card and you just watched me shuffle this deck so again this was i think a warning a week or two ago on one of the readings um, someone might be taking advantage of your vulnerability so make sure that you are you know keeping your eyes open um, and it's not to freak you out. Like the reason we do these cards is to see the things that we don't see coming, right? To prepare ourselves for some of the stuff that maybe we need to be prepared for. So there could be somebody around your circle that wants to take advantage of you. Be aware, all right, my babies? What you don't see is your calmness in your situations is going to benefit you very deeply with this composure. Um, you can control yourself. You're, again, relaxation, rejuvenation. Um, and we have talent. It says you have an exceptional talent in art that needs to be discovered or expanded. It's time to make fortune your creativity. So I feel like what you don't see is that uh, you have the ability to do to use a talent that you have to create a lot of income for yourself and i think some of you will do it just be careful about the people that you're around and you might be involving yourself with too okay um i think what you don't see coming there seems to be an improvement in your health overall leo so uh, i like that for you okay I like that for you. I feel like there's, I feel also like what you don't see coming is that you'll have more peace of mind. You'll feel more like calm within your body, within yourself, like mentally, you won't feel as stressed coming up here. I'm going to take this one and not these because this one fell out. It says, wish your heart's desire is ready to come true. So here for you guys, it looks like there's some sort of special wish that is ready to be granted to you. I love this for you guys. There is a special wish ready to be granted for my lovely Leos. That's what I'm talking about, family. It might be in love, too, since it's a big old heart that she seems to be holding. I don't know. I mean, look, it looks like a heart to me, right? It's a heart. 
So I feel like it's a romantic wish. Maybe you get a proposal. Maybe somebody finally asks you out that you've wanted them to ask you out for a while. It doesn't have to be. I feel like for some of you, it's traveling. I don't know. When I, when I look at this card, it kind of gives me like three of wands energy, okay? We also have the chariot. I feel like some of you could get some new cards or cards. Well, maybe you are getting new cards. You might be getting some new tarot cards, but um, I feel like you're getting a new car. Some of you are getting a new car. Uh, and this is the chariot. So cancer energy, you might be a cancer moon rising or Venus. Um, it says charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. So I feel like you're getting strong. You're getting more focused than you've ever been before, Leo, uh, because I definitely feel like this whole message of what you don't see coming is that a lot of divine timing and sort of a series of things it feels like happening for you where it kind of, if you felt kind of off, even in your body, things just start sort of aligning. But I think that has to do with your mind. Like maybe you're just, your mind is different at this time. Your mind is shifting. So when our mind shifts, then our body starts responding too. And then the outside world, the, the material world starts to um, do the same exact thing. Okay. So let's see what else doesn't Leo see coming. What doesn't Leo see coming? We've only had one card that's like, mm, excuse me. <laughs> okay. You're definitely, this message is coming up again. You're definitely finding out uh, someone who is cheating, who is being deceptive, um, you're finding out uh, who is been taking your ideas, throwing bad energy your way. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups. So not going to lie here, along with that wishes card, it's feeling a lot like the wish that some of you want to come true is a beautiful relationship. Okay, so I do feel like there's a relationship here for many of you. Um, you could feel like a very renewed type of feeling as well. Like, um, like I said before, I feel like some of you have like vitality and youth. You're feeling sort of like your energy restored and emotional calm in your life. Just a really good place. Like there's good things that are coming for you guys. Okay. So I love this for you. It's just positive people around you uh, because I feel like for many of you, you may be eliminating one of the last people, if not the final boss out of your life of like shit talking, need your god dang trailer door kicked in types. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's that. Um, I do also feel like there is um, Claire like a clairsentience, some of you are opening up like your, uh, I feel like your pineal gland is like clearing. Okay. And you're getting more like hearing, you're hearing more clearly, you're knowing things. So that clear cognizance, that sentience, that feeling and that knowing happening here. Um, and you're, and I feel like it's a benefit to you because maybe before you couldn't really tell like people might have said to you oh this person is so oh they're bad people but you're like they ain't bad they're great you know because a little bit of you was like you know a little snow white or something right but now you're starting to know okay you you're getting a what do they call it um I get precognition too, like you guys knowing things before it actually happens and that opening up for you. But I feel like you're getting a discernment, like a deeper discernment about things, about people. You're starting to understand what's happening beyond like what people express to you. Okay. Like they may say one thing, but the energy or what you're really experiencing behind them starts to become more clear as time goes by here. Okay. Discernment really is a gift that not everybody has. Trust me because people discern some really weird stuff, 
But I feel like this is something you're getting really good at. I also get really strongly like your moon manifestations are going to be coming through for you. Um, and I think you need to work on them more for those of you who feel very drawn to like have moon pictures around your house, which is something that you might be doing. So Petunia, stop. This girl, you hear that? That's the sound of my furniture being ripped to shreds. Okay, so I don't want to hear anybody <laughs> about my cats. All right. I am doing my best to try to train her. She's really tough. She didn't used to do that, but now all of a sudden she's all over just ripping up the furniture, probably because of Sachi. Anywho, anywho, anywho. Um, I see snow coming for some people. I know you weren't ready to hear that, but I see snow coming for some of y'all, okay? And I see also a trip coming uh, out of town sometime around the holidays but I see like maybe you're going to a cabin to the woods something like that okay hi baby you want to come say hi to us okay you want to sit in mama's lap okay we're gonna let you hang out okay Petunia needed to come and say hi just like Sachi needed to do back in the day okay so uh those are some of the um, things I see coming. Give me two seconds because I'm starting to get a bunch more images, okay? Um, I see, this is very interesting. I see somebody, this is probably going to be literally one person my ear started ringing to. I see somebody either running into somebody you know, like literally on the street, like you're walking down the street and you run into this person. And this is like a connection. Either A, it's just a random, like this is how you meet your person type of vibe. Or B, this is somebody that you've known that you love very much and you haven't seen in a very long time. And you end up reconnecting with this person. It's like you lost their number. You didn't know if they moved out of town. Um, that type of vibe. Okay. So I see you kind of catching up with somebody in the most random, like walking down the street, chewing on a pretzel. You know what I'm saying? Coffee in hand. And you're like, oh, shit. There's your buddy. Okay. Uh, there could be a pregnancy for somebody. I'm also seeing that too. Okay. I'm only going to grab a couple more cards here. I want to see because I did get some relationship stuff. What doesn't Leo see coming, please? There's another one. Okay, y'all are about to make a big decision to leave a comfort zone, okay, with the two of wands. Um, you, you may be also coming up with some plan to do something for yourself. You're feeling ready to do something new, and I think you're going to move on it, okay? Some of y'all are choosing to walk away from something that's been making you very unhappy. For many of you, it will be some type of job. For others of you, it'll be like you don't want to reconcile with somebody. But I do feel somebody from the past returning to your life. Like I said, for some of you, it could be an old friend. Okay, I'm going to say for many of you, it's an old friend. All right. Many of you are what you don't see is that you're releasing a lot of stuff around um, memories that you have not been able to release. You may even be doing some type of somatic healing, working different areas of the body, specifically for trauma people, your hips and things like that, um, in order to release uh, the past. Okay. I see you like really doing some deeper work that has to do with massage therapy and getting these traumas and energies, these blocks moved out of the body. Okay. Moved out of the body. So I'm seeing that as well. Like I said, I see a lot of like health improvement, page of pentacles, six of swords, and the wheel of fortune. This is great. There's going to be some financial stuff that's going to move around for you guys. So where you felt like you had bad luck before you actually have good luck coming in here. Okay. And not just like little good luck, but big good luck. So I feel like there's a uh, really great ideas coming your direction too. So make sure that you're using your notes. You're carrying something around to write these things down. Um, finances with your page of pentacles, your finances look like maybe a new, um, 
a bonus that you're getting. I feel like some of you all are starting new projects around your house too that are going to help. Um, specifically for some people, I see concrete and like the foundation of your house. I don't, I get like seeping. I don't know if there's water or something that's been seeping, but I see this like the insurance company giving you money for something that you have made a claim on. Okay. I see that. Um, again, journeying, traveling with the six of swords. Um, you're moving beyond some type of like, um, like I said, like this thing that's been kind of up the dark cloud, right? Does anybody feel what I'm saying? If you do put your paw in the, in the comments, because I feel this like dark cloud that's just kind of been, uh, right? Like why me? Always me, always this. I think you're moving past this because it's almost like you perfect timing you get this blessing and it makes you have faith or believe again, okay, that the magic, um, that the magic of, of life is real. Cause guess what? Sometimes it's not going to be real every day. And if you Delulu, you're going to think that it's supposed to be fucking unicorns, you know, sparkly shit flying out of the booty and fucking rainbows. It's not, Life gives us the opportunity to experience it in many different forms. And we need to not avoid that in order for us to evolve. Okay. But you're evolving many from the dark cloud. That's kind of had you like, you know, wondering why you don't feel positive or whatever it is. I think it's because the, like you just needed a little inspiration here. Some of you, the inspiration is coming by moving around and like, uh, traveling. Okay. So you're going to get very inspired to travel. Some of you will come back from your traveling, pack your shit and you'll be moving. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was having a phone call. Sorry guys. So I think that's it for me. I want to get one more card. What you don't see coming. Let me get this dream Oracle. This is a new deck that I'm using. Um, I just got this maybe like a week or so ago and I, I do like it. Something tells me this, this could be the one if I can open this. I never prepare like sometimes I just really felt a vibe. I was like, today's the day I need to do this video. I couldn't even upload the weekly energy check was supposed to be done at like five o'clock on Sunday my Verizon network was down for like two days. My internet total garbage because it was also Verizon. I couldn't upload my videos. I couldn't do anything for like two days. So I apologize for that being late, but hopefully we'll get this one up tonight. All right, Leo, your message, door of perception, choices, opportunities, independence, illusions. Again, I think that this has to do with, with how how you're seeing things is going to start shifting. So it's going, things energetically for many of you are going from how you've seen closed doors and you talk about, well, that's not a possibility. I think you're shifting really powerfully here because you are learning more and more that everything is about how you perceive it and how you receive it and how you're processing it. I think you have some powerful choices that are going to lead you to really beautiful opportunities ahead. However, part of that is whether or not you are capable of seeing the thing as an opportunity, even when it's negative, right? I can't stand fake positivity. I can't because you know, especially being on here, I get people in the comments, oh, you're so negative. I'm like, I don't know what is negative about me. If I'm telling you real shit, that's going to happen. And if you look in the comments, it actually happens. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything other than telling the truth, right? A lot of people don't want to hear that the world can be an ugly place. Guess what? The world can be an ugly place. Doesn't mean you have to live there. Okay. So I feel like your energy is shifting from living in certain types of you know, places and moving to something better. Okay. 
even if we're talking literally about a move, like a lot of people don't see that they can get out of where they're at and they could actually find something that they can afford. You have to believe it. You have to change the perception that there is not enough to, there is so much, there's an abundance of that. And I think that that's coming for you guys. Okay. Huge, huge. And it's going to make you feel so light. You know, it really is going to create this feeling of like this adventure and independence like you could just go out there and do anything okay so I, I'm pretty sure that's what I got for you guys thank you so much my loves for being with me today I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did please don't forget give me the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that top notification bell so it will tell you when I'm uploading all right my babies I love you so much have an amazing day or night wherever you are Mwah. bye bye